When you come to Las Vegas, you know, <clears throat> probably from watching our videos, that the restaurant game in our city of Las Vegas is out of this world. So, in rare fashion, when the latest food hall opened up on the Las Vegas Strip, which happens to be at Fontainebleau, well, you know, we had to head to the ATM because we're about to go all in to see what these new um, budget-friendly <laughs> options had to offer. Welcome to the Promenade here at Fontainebleau. And the Promenade is actually their food hall. They have about seven restaurant options out here, ready, ready for like bagels that are got to serve early morning, also late night as well. But of course you got pizza, burgers, you got sashimi, tacos. you got that, right, tacos, right? Some kind of you know, salads, all kind of stuff like that. So we're hungry and we're gonna check it out. Now, if you're craving a bagel, you can come here to El Bagel, where bagel prices actually range from $6 to Hold on for this. It makes me choke a little bit saying it, but $130 <laughs> oh for gosh. a bagel. They actually have a caviar bagel here you can get for $130. It's that's called got, the Baller Bagel. Yeah, ball, that's got to be the most expensive bagel in Vegas. What do you oh think? My, my gosh. gosh. I hope so. All right, so we just picked up a plain bagel with cream cheese over at El Bagel. Yeah. Uh, and it's quite a line over there. That goes for about six bucks. Just take a bite, baby. Oh, okay, let's do it. Can you just take a little sample? Yeah, I, want hey, to hear that, I want to hear the crunch. Oh, oh, let me just see. Oh. Look at this beautiful oh. bagel. Look at that, huh? Okay, ooh, that looks really good. Oh, that's what I'm mm. talking about. That's a good bagel, babe. I'll tell you, there's nice, I love that little crunch from the toasting and then of course, that cream cheese is just, I mean, it is super, they say creamy, it's super creamy. Just tastes very, you're gonna like that. Whoa, okay, we're about to try the most expensive bagel in the building, and it's called the Baller Bagel. This bagel is like mm, black gold, if you ask, the shiny, sparkly things on top of that called caviar. It's topped with one ounce of caviar, chopped minced shallots, chives and uh, I got it on a sesame bagel so it's gonna have a lot of crunch and some savory and I better chew slow because that's that's rent. Here it goes. Oh yeah that's really good. The crunch from the chives, the saltiness from the caviar, the sesame which is one of my favorite bagels, soft crunchy layer because it's toasted. They don't chance on that sour cream so it's plenty of it. The chives are just perfectly spread and diced throughout. The shallots in there. So while I'm chowing down here on this very expensive bagel, let me just say it was a very good bagel, but definitely not worth $130 in my opinion. Turn it up world! We got some turn it up world fam in the house. Turn it up world! Hello. Well, hello Miss Bubs. Miss Bubs. Miss Bubs. It's Bubs. <laughs> so nice to meet y'all. Right across the way is Break. Now we don't have much to say about it, but it's a great spot for pastries and coffee. And we definitely needed our hot morning lattes. All right, here you go. Your coffee oh, is served, babe. Ah, Oat milk latte. Ooh. All right. So at Capons, they have basically burgers and chicken sandwiches. I went for the chicken sandwich, the Capons Coop which is more the kind of the basic chicken sandwich. It has lettuce, tomato, bacon, barbecue pickles, and ranch schmear. That goes for $15. And Tanya, what do you get? In an unusual rare form, I ended up getting what is called the Firebird. And I think when I saw them making it, it was the sort of like, I'm gonna read it from the menu, the hot honey glaze that they put on top of that. It's like the sriracha, pickles, and the, the pieces of chicken are absolutely Let's show it to him. Let's show it to him. Big on. size. Oh my, you can smell the spice. Now this is also 15 bucks. All the chicken sandwiches seem to be 15 bucks. But that first bite was dynamite. There's a lot of crunch on the skin. The chicken is actually tender. Love the pickle, the sweetness. And that like sriracha, the aioli. Delicious. And of course, all wrapped in a perfect bun. I gotta, I gotta say, babe, I mean, the sandwich tastes good, 
but I could definitely use some more of that ranch schmear. Uh, it's a little on the dry side. Okay. And I, I, I mean, I tend to like a lot of sauces and stuff. You do. I would go a little bit, a little heavier. Maybe they could actually, I could actually like extra sauce maybe next time. Extra smear. Extra smear. Next up is Miami Slice. Now, there's not a load of options, but there's enough to choose from. I'm gonna read it because we took a picture of the menu. You have Margarita de la Casa, you have pepperoni proper, la salsa, leeks on bacon, and mushroom truffles. Now you can get the slices, or you can get a pie, so the 20 inch pie. Now we opted for the Margarita, only because it's just nice and light and thin, almost as that New York style, with the little big, beautiful, oh, that basil just smells fresh and yummy, and Dave and I are gonna give us a shot and let's, let's see what it's like here. Okay, babe, so what's the verdict on the Margarita pizza? Okay, so the verdict was, it was delicious. I like the Margarita pizza, I like the thinness, the, the the crust, I have to ask what, how you thought about it was, because you devoured that like it was no tomorrow. I thought the crust was really nice. Yeah. I did a good job with the crust. So, so what say you on that pizza? What'd you think? Two thumbs up. <laughs> so of course we have a special treat today. We have uh, sous chef Cameron, who's the creation behind Nona here. Tell us the concept here and also some of the highlights folks should check out while they're here. The concept behind Nona's was actually something that came from uh, one of our executives, Mr. Brett Muffson. His mother wanted to go ahead and create a, an environment to go ahead and allow people to feel as if they were home. They could come sit down and enjoy a family-style meal. As you're walking into your, just your grandmother's or your mother's kitchen and sitting down for a nice comfort meal, pretty much. I, I like that, sitting into my grandmother's kitchen. So. What would um, grandma serve me today? Depending on exactly how hungry you were, I would probably go with something maybe like the uh, the lay, which is an Italian style sandwich with a rosemary, uh, rosemary ham, salami, a bunch of just really filling, really delicate but uh, complex flavors. Um, on top of that, after that, if you're still a little bit more hungry and you're looking for something a little bit spicy, the Z-Man up there is our fried chicken cutlet sandwich with a spicy slaw and pickled jalapenos, and it's phenomenal. Awesome, love that. Thank you very much. Ooh, look at the packaging. All right, I like what I'm seeing here from Nona Cafe. So we ended up getting the Muffy Whitson, which is right in here. And that right there, I'll read it from the menu. It has a, it's a tri-tip with horseradish, mayo, fresh rosemary, and au jus on the side right here, which is the au jus. So loving it, loving it. And then of course I had to go for the Jeff's Faith, which is basically a chopped broccoli salad. So I'm looking forward to that. Now it's 14 for this and it's 18 for the Muffy Whitson. So I'm gonna have to take a look at that, but off, right off the back, I'll just be really honest, 14 bucks for this here, it's a bit, it's not as much, it seems a little, for a, for a food haul, I'm thinking for that price, I'd probably get like a bowl. I'm gonna start off first with just taking a quick bite of the Jeff's favorite with the broccoli chop. It's got corn, cashews in there. Wow! I did not expect that. That is dynamite. Lots of flavor from the cashews, makes it a little savory flavor. I love the freshness that comes out of that. The dressing, the broccoli and those fine pieces. I'm a chopped salad girl, so definitely love the chopped salad vibe. But man, oh man, it's really giving that delicious sort of, it just feels refreshing. That's, that's the word that comes to mind, refreshing. That salad is, all right, it's dynamite. But still, but still I think I want a bowl and, yeah. Next up, we're gonna try that delicious sandwich here. Oh, I, you gotta love the packaging. I mean, when it opens up, it opens up like a flower. It's like, hello, all the edibles are inside. Oh, look at that, nice, it's tri-tip. Looks like it's nice and a, a medium, perfect medium. Lots of, oh, lots of goodness up in there. When I dip, you dip, we dip. That looks really good. Mm. That tri-tip is super tender. The horseradish mayo, I was gonna be, I wasn't too sure about that at first, 
I do like a horseradish, mayo. I thought it might be a little bit too punchy to take away from that tri-tip. It blends nicely. As a matter of fact, you don't really taste the horseradish mayo until a layer later. So you're getting all those good flavors wrapped into that. I got that brioche bread, which is just tender, soft, all the way through, warm. The aju sauce gives that little bit of a salty flavor, which is nice and just, I don't know. And you know what? Thank God I'm sitting with my husband because I could double, triple, and quadruple dip. And I know, Dave, you're gonna like this one. Wow. That is really good. I say you put that aju sauce on there and it's just incredibly tender. The flavor, flavor is excellent. Definitely well worth the price, I gotta say, on this one. All right, so next up is Roadside Taco, where tacos actually start at $6. You can get a chicken taco for six. I'm thinking maybe a beef uh, burrito taco, where if you actually add the consomme in there, it ends up being $10. It's like $7 for the taco, $3 for the consomme. Gotta yeah. get the consomme. It looks like your food has arrived. It, it, it has arrived. All right, so what do you think? Yeah, first reaction is, obviously this is 10 bucks. And I kind of look and say, gee, a little bit of where's the beef? Uh, I gotta yeah. say. Right, you know so just, just so you know, this $7 for this guy, and actually the consomme actually added three to it. Three bucks for the which consomme. Which is interesting. And of course, you gotta have the consomme. Wow. So I'm just gonna dive this right in and see how it is. It, it's probably really good though, still. So it's all about that first bite. Okay, you're getting a, a oh, real good a lot, dip. Oh, I want a lot you of You gotta get that consomme. Hey, hey, that's my $3 consomme. Uh, I'm, you're gonna, a, I'm gonna put a straw I'm, in I'm gonna drink, drink it. it. I'm gonna drink it. Ready, <laughs> man? All right, Here let's we see go. what you got. So I, I gotta say it on this one, definitely not my favorite, just okay. And when you're paying top dollar, you're kind of expecting top, you know, top flavor and everything. It's okay, but we've had a lot of great birria, babe. And you know, this is not, I would not put this on that upper echelon of birria tacos. What would you change in that one? Add some more meat in there? Yeah, kind of a more, more flavorful, tender. maybe maybe almost like a fattier meat where you're mm. kind of tasting the, the fattier juices. You know, you know, it's not too bad. I like this nice spice to it. So it's not terrible, but I'm, I, in my mind, I'm kind of thinking about it, pay 10 bucks for this thing. We're gonna mix things up a bit. So get a little lighter and fresh and go with some sushi and uh, miso soup. So we're here at Bar Ito, which is the sister to Ito. And here at the Fontainebleau on the 63rd floor, Michelin star chefs Masa Ito and Kim, they're actually um, really kind of bringing in a different dining experience. So we're gonna dive into some quick bites in here. Now you can get three rolls for $33 or five rolls for $50. Different options, or go for the miso soup like Dave is getting because he's not a big fan of the sushi. Voila, voila. We just eat it, babe. Just pick it up like so. Sometimes I just gotta, gotta eat. eat the sushi roll. Dip that in the soy and take a bite. That is really good. I feel like the seaweed has a nice crunch to it. The lobster inside is really fresh. The cucumbers, love it in the soy sauce. And I love how the presentation comes to you in this cute little sort of little bento box kind of vibe. It's really cute. Oh. So the miso, miso mushroom soup is $8. I'm just gonna jump on in and give it a try. That miso mushroom soup tastes really good. And uh, they definitely do not skimp on the mushrooms, right? <laughs> like super fresh mushrooms in there. And so if, if you like miso mushroom soup, you should definitely give us a try here. And you know, for eight bucks, it's really not so bad here at one of the you know, major uh, casino here on the Strip. I watched your last two videos. A turning up world fan member hey. in the house. Yeah, how are you? <laughs> how are you doing? doing? So I have to say this, we made a really quick pit stop back to one more spot. And Dave is in line right now to, at Capone's. Now we spoke with the food and beverage director here. Um, and boy, Capone's is known for their burgers. So we had the chicken sandwich, which was dynamite. The burgers are supposed to be some of their signatures. Let's, let's see what these burgers are really all about. Burger. You did it, didn't you? You really yeah. got the burger. It's like the, it's a Capon classic. It's like lettuce, tomato, pickles, nice little, of course, cheesy hamburg patty. Looks Whoa, really good. Oh, look at the size. And, and, and it's branded. Yeah, and with their secret sauce. What's the secret? Mmm. The secret's delicious. Oh my God, that's such a nice bite. A little ASMR. 
So that's a good burger, it's 10 bucks. So not a bad price. I'd say overall good value. Everything tastes fresh. The, the hamburger meat really tastes good. And that special sauce, I think you'll like it. And we have a question for you. Now, when you come to the promenade here, what restaurant do you want to try most? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know why. We'd love to hear about it. And this is really important. If you want to know what the Fontainebleau is all about from our perspective, including our room tour of the brand new hotel, well, check out our video right here. It's somewhere up on the screen. I mean, I, I can't tell you, but it's somewhere. All right, y'all. And we'll see you in the next one.